now like to uh, welcome uh, our next uh, moderator, uh, Gizem uh, Severoglu, uh, is an industrial designer from Turkey who utilizes her skills in project management, uh, content creation, and digital marketing to create sustainable and impactful concepts and strategies for businesses. She founded her own company, Things and Dots, in 2021. Uh, Gizem has worked at Aslam Tuna Design, Illusionist Istanbul, Hem Zemin Social Good Conference, Adnan Service Design, Nuris Inc. Blue Chip Creative Events, uh, Kilit Tassi Design. Uh, she's passionate about volunteering with different NGOs for social good. Gizem is a, uh, has a Master of Science degree in entrepreneurship from Trinity College, Dublin. Gizem, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Andrea. Uh, first of all, it's very exciting to be here uh, before welcoming. And uh, when our guest uh, came, uh, I will, it can be nice to start with when all of us here, we will be uh, on stage, four of us at the same time. Uh, and then I will start. So maybe I can start when Gerkem's connection is ready to go. Uh, first of uh, all, it's very exciting uh, to be here. Uh, I will, uh, before introduction uh, about our guests, maybe uh, it would be meaningful to start by uh, talking about why we are here uh, with a short summary. Uh, being a part of the community started for each of us uh, during our student years. In fact, this is the common feature of uh, four of us. And still each of us continues to be uh, part of uh, various communities as a member, as a volunteer, as a creator, or as a co-creator uh, in our professional lives locally and globally. And we will talk about our own experiences uh, with design communities in terms of diversity uh, we have Megan from the USA, Inho from the Korea, Gürkan from Turkey, who is living in Germany, are with us. I will introduce them uh, super shortly and I will ask them to continue to introduce themselves. Uh, I would like to start with Megan. Uh, she is currently a business designer uh, at D Ford, a strategic design lab within Ford Motor Company in Michigan. And she is one of the core members of WDO Young Designer Circle. Uh, welcome, Megan. Uh, I would appreciate if it, you could briefly introduce yourself and share the design communities you have been involved with so far. Uh, we will go in detail with following questions. Uh, if you can uh, keep it uh, two, three minutes uh, so we can manage, manage the time uh, for everyone. Yeah, hi, everybody. Um, thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be a part of this panel with some fellow uh, YDC members. And yeah, so I am a business designer in D Ford, which is a strategy and innovation uh, team uh, within Ford Motor Company. But beyond my like full-time job, I am a huge advocate for building communities um, locally and globally. So I started with Industrial Designers Society of America, who actually introduced me to World Design Organization. And then I also help run and organize um, Shift Design Camp, which is a global uh, design community, as well as I teach um, within Advanced Designs Offsite, which is a global uh, provocative uh, design education startup. Great, thank you. Uh... I'm so excited to go in detail uh, about the communities, but I want to continue with Inho super shortly. Uh, he studied visual design at Seoul National University of Science and Technology and now pursuing a PhD program. And uh, he is the manager of KIDP, Korea Institute of Design Promotion, which is a national design organization established by government. And he, he has a key role in nurturing young designer talent in Korea. I have the same uh, first question for you, Inho. 
uh, can you briefly introduce yourself with the design community side? Uh, hi, uh, my name is Inho and I'm from South Korea uh, and I'm part of uh, education division and training division at my company. Uh, my company is um, Korea Institute of Design Promotion, which is was established by the Korean government for uh, promoting uh, uh, Korean design. So in my in my company, uh, I'm responsible for managing design community, actually young young designers community, and organizing some educational program. Thank you. Thank you, Inho. Uh, I will introduce Gurkem uh, when he can connect with his video. Uh, I I, can... uh, Hi, I... I, I can I can connect actually, but um, yeah, um, I think I will just like uh, speak like this for now. Um, yeah. Right. So we can, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, if you could turn on your video, uh, because then I can have you join with the other panelists on the screen, if that's possible on your end. Mm -hmm. Um, so there, there's actually a reason that I'm not really opening the video today. Um, so um, I will I will uh, explain this thing later. So um, I would just like uh, keep it keep it close for now if it's fine. Okay. All right. Thank you. Maybe Gurkham, you can continue to introduce yourself if you like. All right. Yeah. It's it's so exciting to be here, everyone. So uh, thanks a lot for invitation, Gizam, especially. Um, so um, we had a really good connection with her. With the, we organized several events. So uh, it is it is a bit of an int interesting journey for me to uh, be a host for her. So I'm I'm currently uh, working as a MAI design lead for DSS Sustainable Solutions. We mostly focus on the safety, health, and environmental uh, environment related uh, digital products. Um, and I'm also, um, I do have a company as a clothing brand, uh, it's to one of us, I'm working as a creative director for that, so I'm, I'm, it's, a, it's quite an interesting um, a manifestation project for the, for different kind of like cultures for, um, it, it's kind of like another way of um, just uh, showing the, the ancient wisdom, so it's kind of a fun project, but that there was a kind of like social impact aspect of it. Um, yeah, but it's um, kind of my professional life. The, I think the reason that I'm here that I have organized several local and global organizations uh, like Open IDEO or uh, I, 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 I was a local lead for Interaction Design Association before. Um, I organized some um, events for Peche Kuchanais, uh, MIT XU Labs, um, Maker Fairs and, and these kind of things mostly. And uh, I started some initiations for uh, UX communities, some some initiations for design thinking communities as well. So for me, uh, it is just like a, uh, supporting the design communities is, is always a, a important aspect um, in my professional and, and normal student life as well. And um, just just we will go in detail. <laughs> we we yeah, will yeah, go yeah. in detail Sorry. about your uh, community creation site. Of course. Okay. Uh, right. okay. um, <laughs> Just, just the, the reason of the, the video situation is that um, I uh, a bit a bit of uh, personal introduction on that. Um, um, so we we had this kind of like a, um, an issue on uh, you know this promotional materials that when we were having uh, this invitation for the WDO, and I, I realized uh, when we were discussing about diversity that we are sometimes skipping the the inclusion aspect and and also the um, equality aspect. So um, normally for me, this kind of like give, give back uh, organizations was always a part of my life. But, um, you know, uh, we make sure that we involve almost everyone. Um, so um, the, the reason that I'm not showing myself today, that's because um, the, I, I saw some materials was prepared for some speakers. It wasn't prepared for some speakers as well. So uh, today I will just keep myself uh, faceless <laughs> if it's OK for you guys. OK, uh, people. Feel, uh, people can follow you if they like to see you uh, on different digital presence. I would like to start with a question and I will uh, keep my order with Megan. Uh, I know Megan uh, involved uh, in different design communities when she was a student also. And I know how uh, effect 
us in our transition to our professional life and our choices in, about our career life. And um, maybe uh, how, maybe Megan, you can start to share how uh, did it affect your choices uh, being in the community about your multidisciplinary experience, uh, diversity experience, being in different uh, side of the design. Yeah, I can answer that one. Um, so my degree is in industrial design and I also have a degree in service design. And throughout my industrial design career, or I guess degree, um, it was actually being a part of IDSA or Industrial Designers Society of America and meeting with different designers and different, um, I guess people with different titles, work titles, made me realize that I, just because I had an industrial, industrial design degree, didn't mean I have to be the industrial designer at a company. Um, that industrial design actually opens your doors to a lot of different things. Um, so I started my career as a design researcher and then moved into service design and now um, as a business designer and still using the things that I've learned in industrial design and still connecting with the people who actually called out my portfolio to say, this doesn't sound or this doesn't look like what, um, what you're passionate about. Like, yes, you're showing these beautiful sketches and, and renders, but you get really excited talking about the people behind them. And you get really excited talking about um, the research rather than what the product that you're designing is. And, and I think it was, if it, if it weren't for Industrial Designers Society of America and the um, community members that I had within them, I think I would have been quite, quite lost if I moved into an industrial design title. Uh, I really understand you because I feel the very similar uh, feelings uh, as you. Uh, you are in a corporate company, but I know you are not just working full time in a corporate company. You are also involved in uh, different internal uh, communities, also like internal uh, corporate communities, uh, can you also share your experience in that side? Because it is not just working as a designer in a team, you are also creating a different environment for yourself based on your interests. Uh, you, you are uh, holding a title uh, for the corporate side, but also you keep uh, creating impact or you keep inspiring others uh, about uh, concept creation, bringing people together for the uh, similar values, similar beliefs to create an impact for the others. Uh, can you share also uh, that uh, aspect of the, your professional life? Yeah, so when I joined um, Ford Motor Company, I there's a lot of different employee resource groups or communities within them. So um, there's like, um, one of the ones that I am actively involved in is Women of Ford. And I started just being and going to meetings and kind of meeting um, different women of engineering backgrounds, of marketing backgrounds, of business backgrounds, and hearing about their career paths. And um, then trying to take more of a leadership role where now I sit um, more in the like organization side of women afford and I help with their marketing and their outreach and setting up the structure to kind of sign up for this, this group. And I'm actually currently working to start our own chapter. So within each country of Ford is a global company. So within each country and within each um, like vehicle line, there are different chapters and um, I am working to kind of start my own chapter now within women of design within Ford, um, which will be pretty exciting to start mentor circles and um, start sharing career paths and how we get there and, and kind of helping each other um, understand how to overcome challenges of working in the automotive industry, which is very typically male dominated and um, specifically white male dominated. Um, so I'm uh, pretty excited to, to be diving into that and um, Again, I just think it's it's important to give back, but also to keep pushing conversations of diversity and of um, equity and, 
in all things um, inside your your business and inside your work and then outside as well within your your local community. It's it's great to hear because uh, we watched uh, different uh, presentations, we listened different uh, speakers to, uh, during twenty four hour event, and uh, as a female designer, uh, we know how important this representative situation, uh, like like female designers. Thank you. I I will come to you after a couple of questions uh, to Inho. So Inho, I want to ask you the same question, but I would like to add a couple of uh, different things because I know your professional life is super related to the young designers. And in Korea, we are uh, seeing a different uh, little structure for the young designers uh, as an organization, uh, the Korea Institute of Design Promotion. Can you share with us uh, your community for the young designers, uh, which is created by the government in Korea? And also, like, uh, how is your uh, supporting mechanism for the young designers uh, by the Korean government to help young designers, even for getting jobs abroad? Uh, can you share a couple of things, how your career became to this point, the connection and then now how you are supporting the young designers uh, in your life. Okay, I, I'm going to share my screen. Um, could, you, could you see my screen? Yes. Okay, uh, I'm going to shortly uh, uh, introduce uh, the young designers community in Korea. Um, yes, there is a young designers community organized by Korean government. So this is the logo of the community, the Korea design membership. Actually, uh, it was created to uh, reduce the gap between industrial needs and design uh, capacity of a capacity of design uh, graduate. Uh, so the Korea Design Membership is a two-year non-accredited uh, program uh, specifically for uh, undergraduate student that aims to uh, neutral local design student as working level design talent. So since 2008, uh, we have supported more uh, 700 students. Actually, the KDM program uh, operates in five regions. Actually, in Korea, there are uh, six design centers all over the country. So KDP is headquartered in the Seoul and another uh, four uh, region organized this program. So the design center of each region is responsible for operating their program. The students also benefit from international educational programs such as global workshop, international design camp, and the others. And students enrolled uh, in the KDM program benefit from various programs such as the industry uh, academia project with global company like BMW, Samsung, LG, and Philips Maker. Actually, we, we support Korean students to participate in design project with global companies. Uh, one successful uh, experience is a, a project done with Design Works, a creative design studio of BMW Group in Munich, Germany. Uh, what makes this project uh, meaningful is that it provides both BMW and Korean, design, Korean student uh, the opportunity to understand and running different culture. So uh, three, uh, three students who took part in this project were hired as a design intern at Design Works in Munich. And good news is two of them and two girls uh, will be hired as a full-time junior designer starting September. So I think this proves that our education on cultural diversity has been successful in Korea. Thank you. 
Thank you, Inho. Uh, can I ask a specific question? So you showed some design centers. Uh, so how it works this uh, for young designers? Can they come uh, for the events? Like how it works the system? Uh, if I'm a Korean young designer, how I get involved in uh, to uh, because you are creating uh, really good networking opportunities for young designers. Uh, is it uh, based on the collaborations, like university collaborations, or an independent uh, can uh, in, in, an in, sorry can an independent uh, young designer uh, reach you and involve in like uh, reach KIDP and involve in? Is there a system like uh, is there any way to get involved in independently? I, I think it's in, independently because uh, the membership program. The, the members of the the community uh, or the only selected student from all of the countries. Yeah, so um, yeah, is, so is it di directly based on the application, like individual applications, right? Yeah, right. Okay. If you like to uh, also like share the link of the key ID on the chat uh, maybe uh, if we have Korean uh, listeners they can uh, look at it okay I I'm going to share it directly thank yeah. you and also I like to continue with Gurkham uh, I know uh, how your uh, professional life uh, transformed but also we like to hear from you uh, how uh, it affected being involved in the communities and then uh, you created, uh, you co-created a really nice uh, community. Uh, the name is UX Folks for the UX uh, area. Uh, if you like to share, uh, we'd love to listen. Of course. So um, yeah, I think um, so. For me, it's like um, the the whole process has started as um, when I was a student. So I just wanted to create a safe space to share uh, know-how with people, uh, with design students, um, because there was um, that, I, I think there was this kind of like um, an intention to kind of create like more connections so we can get like more inspiration from people. And I think there was this kind of like a rebellious act of kind of like, you know, just um, finding your own self-worth and reflecting your self-worth through the creativity. So uh, when we were organizing these uh, organizations, I think there was just like, uh, it wasn't only um, only just like creating organizations, but it was also about like, uh, you know, how do you kind of like uh, reflect yourself through work? So um, this is still what I'm doing with the, with the work. It's for me, it's like corporate jobs is, is, is a bit challenging. You know, it's, um, it's the hierarchies is not completely fitting with my personality. So I'm trying to just like find out like how, where we can actually improve together and how we can engage with other people. So it's kind of like, you know, for me, the, the organizations uh, were kind of like a stage where I practice, um, you know, like protecting people's rights or like protecting designers' rights, because I think this is, that was one of the biggest challenge in Turkey, especially because um, we were trying to create a, you know, a, a common ground, and another kind of like a, a trust point um, so we can we can improve ourselves a bit more deeper. Um, but still, uh, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm picking some company. You know, I, I, I was working for, for, for some consultancies, some design agencies, like a really major ones. Now I'm kind of like shifting my focus to uh, different companies which has um, not really good design maturity. So I'm kind of like bringing the design culture aspect inside of it. Um, yeah. Um, I think this is kind of like uh, the organizations were another way of kind of practicing the user centricity and and advocating the people and it's it's almost like for me it's it's another kind of like a pattern in in the in professional lives. Um, yeah, I'm still purpose driven in, in any organization. So I, I think this is the biggest challenge for everyone, especially in our generation, in in uh, corporate culture. So um, yeah, design advocacy is the main focus for me uh, in design organizations and, and corporate work. Thank you. Uh, I know how uh, you're passionate about organizing the events also. Uh, and another common feature for all for, for of us is uh, the entrepreneurial mindset, uh, I would say. 
uh, I want to uh, touch that point. Uh, I will turn back to Megan uh, because I want to talk about, uh, like I want to open a discussion about organizations and their leadership structures and concept of representation. Uh, because with the, by the time uh, things are changing, and I want to ask if you can share uh, how is the perspective of young designers in your country on the traditional traditional concept of the community or design organization? Because we started to see different versions of communities, not just NGOs. We have independent organizations, government agencies, private sector or uh, communities. Uh, I want to touch that point because we uh, with the pandemic, uh, with the digital coming together uh, as YDC, uh, people start to coming together and creating their own communities. Uh, we are start, we start to see different type of uh, coming uh, together uh, sites. Uh, maybe Megan, if you can share uh, what's going on in US on that site, and maybe you can uh, mention a couple of things about Shift Design Camp uh, shortly, please. Thank you. Yeah, so I think in the US, um, it, it's kind of been around for a while for young designers to kind of have this startup mentality. Um, there's a lot of groups that have kind of popped up or design education um, startups that have kind of popped up. Uh, Shift has been, Shift Design has been around since 2012. Um, and, you know, we've had 59 events, over almost 3,000 participants from around the globe come to camp um, in different locations in the US and in Europe and um, working on some locations in Asia. And, um, and I think, you know, there's, there's a lot of communities that are empowering young designers to give a voice to make an impact within the work that they have. Um, so not only shift, but advanced design where it's actually founded by a, um, a teacher or a professor in school, but it's really run by a ton of young designers who are just passionate about building a community. And so they're doing things like starting podcasts and um, creating a school like offset where I offsite where I now am able to teach and um, even IDSA you know they're they're working on programs to bring in students voices um, when I was in school we started the special interest student section where we were able to within IDSA connect schools across across the U.S. to kind of communicate on how each individual university was building a community and how we could learn from each other. Um, and so I think it's always been there, but I think now specifically in the US, it's about getting these larger companies, these corporations or um, even like larger design studios to feel and fuel that um, young designer passion and, and empower it more because at some point you know, we reach out and we build our own communities, but when we're working our day job, that's where that disconnect sometimes happens um, within um, empowering young voices to have the, have the ability to make decisions or have a voice in making decisions that impact them. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we experienced very similar things. Uh, around 10 years ago in Turkey, we were coming together uh, as a students from different universities. And those time was uh, really great to see uh, different uh, educations, how, how it was inspiring us to see uh, from the different education perspectives. Uh, I think we are uh, done <laughs> with the time. It was super short for me. Uh, when I compare what I how it was uh, going to be, uh, I just want to uh, mention one thing uh, about uh, YDC survey related to diversity. Uh, I would like to share on the uh, chat uh, if you are interested in to check the diver diver uh, diversity in design survey, you can find. Uh, I'd like to thank you for all of you uh, being here. 
And uh, if you like to uh, check what is ship design, uh, you can see the chat box, uh, the links are there. And in Ho and Gherkem, if you like to share the UX folks or the other communities that you created, please feel free to share on the chat.